chapter in our history steeped in distrust and conflict has many secrets. CIA operatives in Vietnam were used to help in the war effort without many of them even realizing who their employer was. Well, now, one of those veterans is being reunited with one of the planes he flew so many years ago. Global 5's John Dommel brings us the story. Well, what do you think, Neil? <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. This, is, uh, it, this wasn't expected. I didn't expect everybody to be here today. With only a few left in the States, finding a Dornier that saw action in Vietnam, it caught some eyes. Other than redoing the seats and the carpeting, this is the way the plane looked. I just washed it. It had been warehoused for 19 years, and now that it's out, the history of this plane is being properly preserved. A lot of those men and women, you know, gave up an awful lot in life, you know, to protect the United States and to protect our way of life, and it's getting forgotten. Only a few of these were used during Vietnam, and one of its pilots reunited with the warbird at long last. His job in the war was an odd one. My role during the Vietnam conflict was to fly for Air America which was the air arm of the Central Intelligence Agency. His duties were to train pilots and open up new airstrips in enemy territory for supplies. I am, I guess, what you might call a risk taker, an adrenaline junkie. If you ask him, though, it definitely beat working behind a desk. I was 26. Two years younger than me. Yes. <laughs> a few hundred CIA agents were sent over there, with most of them being none the wiser. They didn't know they were CIA. They thought they were contract employees. They did not have a clue of who they were working for. Eventually, the light bulb came on, and you realize, hey, <laughs> this isn't a, a benevolent organization. <laughs> it's part of America's hidden history. We were there, and we were operating on the U.S. dollars, uh, your tax dollars, uh, unknown to the rest of the world. The roles of war aren't limited to the foot soldier. They're as varied as every man, and the greatest respect we can give them is to remember. We've done it with our world wars and everything else, and there's no good reason to keep doing this other than forgetting, and they're forgetting what's happened before. Reporting in Green Bay, John Dommel, Local 5 News.